Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I haven't really done like a crafting video for a while. I've been busy with family and other things, so I'm trying to get back at it. But I wanted to do a pocket page. Um, I did one of these in my Heidi Swap planner earlier. Maybe I'll give you a peek at it. And I really enjoyed doing it. I haven't really done pocket pages much in the past. But after doing this one, I really kind of enjoyed it because I figured um, I can use little scrap papers or whatever because um, it just it works perfectly in these little pockets. You really don't need a whole lot of a lot of papers or embellishments to make it look nice. So I really liked how this one turned out. I'm gonna try to do something like this for you today. So I'm gonna put this back in here. Close up my planner and move it out of the way. Um, I'm going to go with like a canvas corp theme of papers. So I have little bits of different papers. I have some of this uh, is black and ivory twelve, and I just think it's really pretty. And then I have some of this white, and I think this is like E flute or I think they have C flute. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's uh, got some dimension there. I also have black and white ribbon stripe and black and white polka dots. So you can see I'm going with like a black and white theme. And the reason I'm doing that is I figure as long as I keep all of my patterns black and white, keep them simple, then I can add in different colors um, from different paints and stamps and embossing and whatever. So I just really wanted to keep the base papers clean uh, black and white. Even though they're all different patterns, they still work together because they have the same um, color scheme going on. So I'm going to take and I'm going to cut down a bunch of 2x2 two two squares because these little pockets are 2x2. Two two. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I have a lot of my papers cut and I've kind of arranged them in a way I think looks nice. Um, the next step is to kind of go in and start adding some little embellishments. I think I'll zoom in now so you can see closer up what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Okay. So now I just have to figure out what I want to do with my papers. I like the black and white look. Um, I just want to add some little embellishments and maybe some photos here and there. So now is the hard part of deciding what exactly I want to do. So I think I'm going to take this. This is already a piece I, I saved from a different project that I didn't use. But it's this little um, stamp here. This is from Stampin' Up. It's a set called Because I Care. And I uh, stamped and embossed this in black. And then I painted some Tattered Angels um, wedding pink over the top. So it's a light pink um, flower stamp. And I like it on this little striped. I mean it goes on the polka dot too. But I like it down here on the stripe. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue this together. I want it in the bottom corner. Sort of off, off the page a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and um, glue that together and then I'm going to trim it up on the sides. Now I have some uh, stripes with floors going on. It's always one of my favorite things. I'm going to take this one of the sentiments from the Avriel Cupcakes um, stamp set. As you see here. And I'm just going to stamp and emboss that in gold on one of these white pieces. Mm -hmm. 
And I just love how that gold embossing looks once it's um, all heated up and embossed. I think I'm going to slip this one here on the top. And then I'm going to grab um, this stamp set by Jelly Bean Soup. I'm going to use my um, embossing bag and put down a little bit of powder. Sort of uh, get rid of some of that static cling. Let's see, make sure my arrow is on straight here. So I have my arrows cut out, and my thought was I could kind of um, put them across the front of the page here. Something like that. So I'm going to go and take my tape runner adhesive and put a little bit on the back of this vellum. go. So I have some arrows and these are on the outside. I just like the way that that gold looks. I think it's really nice to be able to put some embellishments on the outside. It gives it another, um, you know, something interesting. So moving on, I think I want to add some color to this one. Since we have a little pink down here on this flower, I think I maybe I'll I'll put a little bit of pink um, maybe on the edges of this little piece here. I'm going to take really light pink. I'm going to use Bun Sugar. This is one of my favorite pink distress inks. It's just um, a really light pink color. I find myself using it on a lot of different projects. I kind of want it heavier on this um, corner and then to fade out towards the bottom. Now I have that, this um, stencil from Heidi Swap. And it's a stamp that comes with this stencil. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this stencil um, to kind of stencil on some of this heart. I know it's way too big for this little square, but I'm going to take a little bit of my sponge sugar and just get one side. Oops. Maybe I need to tape. I want to make sure I get heavier color on the top and on the sides so you can really see where um, the image starts and where it stops. And I think I'm actually going to take this stamp even though it's like way too big but I'm going to try to stamp it on so you get a good portion of the words showing over this heart. And I'm just going to use uh, my Versified Black Onyx ink. Try to move some of this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So here's my little heart. I can get some ink on my stamp.
Okay, so you can kind of read the words. All my heart, at least, is there. So I kind of like like that look. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in this little pocket here. And then I have these um, little frames. These are cardstock or chipboard, whatever you want to call them, um, frames. And they are made to be used in the planner. So they fit perfectly in these pocket pages. And I'm thinking that either this pink one or the floral one. The pink one I think goes really well. I'm going to put this one over here because I plan to put a photo in here. I don't have one printed out right now, but I think it would look really cute right here in this, in this spot. Okay, now I have some of this um, glitter paper from Seven Gypsies. This is actually supposed to be able to place it over a design, rub it on, and then um, you have some glitter transferred. I am going to do something different. I'm going to see if I can die cut this with these little banner shapes here to make like a little glittery banner to go right along here. So we're going to see if that goes through my Sizzix machine and if it will work. So here's the moment of truth. So cut out all these cute little banner shapes. See if I can find them all that are totally glittery and goes with the gold theme. So I'm going to use these on the front of my pocket page. There we go. Cute little banner, totally glittery. And now as I'm looking at this, I'm not really liking the twall because it's not black and white as black and ivory and I'm kind of really starting to notice that ivory. So I'm gonna take this out, save it for later, and I'm gonna find a different piece that will fit in here. Okay, so I found a piece of paper that I'm using from the Seven Gypsies um, pack and it's uh, just a little scrap it's kind of like a lacy pearl kind of look and it's a little bit more white so I think it'll work. I'm going to cut it down to two inches and then I'm just going to slip it in behind there. And I think it helps the banner to show up better as well. So, I think I'll stay with that. Stick with that. So my little banner pieces are still drying, but I think that's it for my little um, pocket page this time. Um, black and white and pink going on, and I'm going to print out a picture to put in here, and I'll probably print it out in black and white. So it all kind of coordinates and fits together. So that's my second pocket page I've done. I'm really liking them. Um, it's a great way to kind of use up scraps, I think. Lots of little scrap papers. Um, and then just kind of make them coordinate with your planner. So that's what it's going to look like in my planner. Totally cute. Totally loving it. Um, doesn't take as much time as like a big scrapbook page, 12 by 12, but you still kind of get the fun of all the embellishments and using your papers and um, making a photo stand out. So hopefully you enjoyed that and got some ideas. Uh, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye!